Hey everybody, it's Professor Hall, and I am so happy. I just went into the Grade Center and checked your discussion boards for the final creative essay project, and I see you all bustling around and talking to each other and turning in things and studying the modules, and I'm so pleased. You've been such an exceptionally good class, but I want to go over this with you real quick because remember, this final essay is due December the 12th. So we've got a few days to get it polished and perfect. Let's go over it together. I know you already know this, but I'm just gonna go over it real quick just because I want these to be your masterpieces. I'm over here in modules. Uh, remember your final extend uh, and further refine is due at the end of the semester, as is your journal. So let's make sure that that gets turned in as you look over your your um, grade center. Make sure you've turned those two things in. Now here we come down. We've done. Look at all the work we've done this semester. Can you believe it? And now we're coming down to the final essay. Remember that this essay tutorial in here will take you through the process of writing the tutorial. So you're going to want to make sure that you pay attention to this. I've got an example where I go through the process with you. And that helps a lot of people. This is the submission requirements, that next page. Remember to check this over and make sure everything is included in your one final PDF document. If you try to submit a PDF document and you think, oh gosh, I forgot the outline, and then you go back in and try to resubmit it, it won't work. All I'll get will be the outline. So make sure that you've checked and double checked on this. We've got some time on this. Remember your title, the image that you selected at the beginning of the semester should be your title image. That way I can see, oh, I know which image they used, and then I can see how you developed that as you went along. Next we have the summary statement, which begins your narrative. And this again, I'm taking you through the process as though I was doing it myself. Uh, there's a little checklist for you to follow, so that summary that begins your your essay really isn't uh, it's easy to organize because I've literally given you the step by step right and I've actually showed you how I would write the summary for the example that I've been taking you through this whole process this little PDF let's go ahead and open this PDF together and here in this PDF, I'm introducing you to the truth that final drafts and submission items and stories are not written, they are rewritten. It is so obvious when I see a story that's polished, that has been crafted, rather than something where somebody just sat down at the computer and just started typing and hoping for the best. I can see the organization, I can see the development. So. Uh, please make sure, and you want this to be your masterpiece anyway, so I, I don't mean to be lecturing you because I know you want the best for yourself in this. There's your little checklist again, and this is the final submission format. Remember, this should be a high word count. All of these drafts that you've written and everything, there should be a nice high total word count for this, as well as the rough drafts. So remember that for our accreditation, and to prove that you wrote the number of words required for this course, we want this, this word count to be specifically uh, totaled up here. There's your little title image, and then the essay, the outline, the summary statement, which we've already gone over, and then all the rough notes. And again, some people have written down notes on paper in, by hand, and they just scan those and put them at the end of the document. That's fine, too. I'm not going to grade those rough notes. It's just important that we be able to demonstrate that rough notes existed for your word count and to show your process. Okay? Now, let's move on. And remember, this is where we found that PDF. So now we're going to move on from there. And 
this contains the idea of synthesis, and there's some study materials in here. You're going to want to look over this. I know you think, oh, but no, I don't put anything in here that's just junk. Everything that's included in these modules is something that you need to learn. So take time, set time out of your calendar to study this page. You probably already have, but just in case you haven't, make sure you set aside time so you can do that. The next page is choosing the image for the final essay, and there's a tutorial about this qualitative uh, process. So make sure that you look at that. Then this has to do with downloading images for the final exam and this document is the images for the final exam and the rules for using those little fact sheet and so forth. All right. Next page up is choosing the theme and there's a wonderful tutorial there as well as a list of common themes in this PDF. Every story has a theme. There's a lesson that needed to be learned. Otherwise, there was no reason for the story, right? Okay, so that is an important part, the theme. And that's one of the criteria that you're graded on. So let's make sure we've studied that. The final exam requirements, an example, uh, that is located here. The motif and symbols, remember that's an important part of this exercise as well. There's a tutorial and there's a PDF to take you through that process. Make sure that you have a recurring symbol. Like in the one that I showed you, there's a recurring tumbleweed. And it sort of represents that character. He's just tumbling through life, picking up whatever along the way. Okay, then we have choosing the point of view and the voice. And that's very important because you don't want that to change. If it's a first person narrative, the character is telling the story, it needs to stay that way. Organizing the short story, this is all about how to get the story organized, and this is a real helpful page as well. Writing the rough draft, and there's some tutorials that give you some ideas about uh, tips for creating that rough draft. And then writing the final draft of the narrative. And this takes you on a, an information journey that explains how you can refine that. And this is just a little story that I wrote once that I think has really good uh, organization to it. So you can listen to that or not, it doesn't matter. But, um, and this is the actual story for this example that I included. But that's just to give you an idea. And then, of course, we have the Submit Here tab, and we always want to look for that. And before you submit it, you're going to take a good long time and make sure that everything is included in order. And then you're going to save the whole thing as a PDF. We've been through this all semester. We know that if we include it as a PDF, it's going to certainly download, and I'll be able to read it. We will not have time at the end of the semester to go back and forth with this. I open it as an RTF or an RGFT or whatever. Make it a PDF so that we'll be able to open that and read it without any conflict at all. There again is your rubric and how you're graded for this particular essay. Right? And then you will uh, scroll down and submit when you are ready. Now, y'all, you know you've been an exceptional class. I don't need to tell you that. You can see just from the discussion boards that you are an incredibly exceptional group of students. You've worked together beautifully all semester, and don't let that stop now. You have that discussion board open. You can ask each other ideas and questions, but this needs to be a time in the next 10 days where you are focused on polishing this narrative and making sure that it is perfect and that every detail is wrapped up and that there's no questions left. I'll tell you, and you know that, 
The number one thing to look out for is switching tenses. I do it all the time. I have to go back and check and make sure that it's all in the past tense or on those rare occasions when I do something in the first tense that it's always in the present tense. But make sure that you have checked everything. Character names. Did I leave a character lost out there in the woods somewhere? Or did I make sure that everything's wrapped up? Is the lesson well taught? Whatever the lesson was, I don't have to spoon feed it to the reader, but the reader should be able to see. Remember that those directions and those instructions need to be followed to the letter. So set aside time to do it, walk away from it, come back and look at it and make sure everything is there, and then save the whole thing as a PDF, and then submit it. I'm excited about this final project. Let's wrap up that OWL um, activity thing as well. I'm going to need your journal and I'm going to need those, uh, you know, extend and that part of the OWL as well. So let's get those things wrapped up real quick and then make sure that you submit the very best of your work. It's incredibly important that I see a demonstration of your very best effort to organize, to articulate, to punctuate. And remember, punctuation is your friend. You can use punctuation in some fun ways in narrative writing. You know me. I love to use all these different pieces of punctuation. And have a wonderful time with this. It's been a great semester, and I can't tell you, I haven't had a class this well connected in a very long time and I'm very proud of you. So I can't wait to see your final exams. This is going to be the last you hear from me until you hear about that final exam being graded. So let's make it a great one. That concludes this tutorial on the final exam.